Hey everybody, welcome back to Plugin Tut, your home for handcrafted WordPress plugin tutorials. And as always, I'm your host, Matt, and today we're taking a look at Beaver Builder, but we're gonna take a look at Beaver Builder version 1.9, which is in alpha right now. So obviously not quite beta, it's in alpha, not released yet. Um, hoping to be released maybe by the end of the year, which would be amazing. Uh, but I wanna just take a look at three really cool features. I was lucky enough to get, just get my hands on the alpha and I said, boy, I think some people kinda of wanna see this stuff going on. And of course I know the team at Beaver Builder is always sort of uh, putting out this kind of information, but hey, why not? You're at a tutorial channel. I've covered Beaver Builder before. Let's take a look at it. Uh, so I have version 1.8 and 1.9 up just so we can see some of the differences. And one of the major differences or the sort of, uh, the sort of big uh, feature that they're adding now is columns within columns, okay? So real quick, I got both themes loaded up, same theme or same uh, Beaver Builder layout. And if we click on columns on version 1.9, you can see that now there is this move column with a little move icon um, that we can actually move columns around. So within these three columns here, I can snag this column, I can move it and I can adjust it to a different location. I could put it in the middle, I can move it to the end, that kind of thing, okay? So if we go back to version 1.8, what's out there in the wild right now, when we open up the column settings, the move setting is not there. Can't do that right now, right? So that's one of the um, slick little killer features coming to columns in version 1.9, but you might have also noticed that I can drop in uh, a column within columns now. Okay, so within this column, I can drop this column in there. So let's take a look at a better example. If I wanted to shrink this down, let's just say something like this. And, um, you know, I'm just guessing that this is 60% 2020, so 100% of this area here. I can go to the add content section. I can grab the rows and I can say, you know what, give me four columns and I can drop those four columns in this column. So I can start to make, as you can see, I can start to make some more complex layouts. And if I go back to version 1.8 and I try to grab the four columns, I can't drop those in the columns, right? So I can go above and below. Um, I can't even go on the side, left or right. So I can, I can just go above and below in version 1.8, but in 1.9, you saw that I can go uh, within these columns and uh, at the end or the beginning. Now, it's limited to four columns only, which, you start really pressing uh, the boundaries of complex layouts with that, and I think four columns is good enough. So if I tried to grab six columns, you see here I can't, I can't drop it in. Um, I can't put it in, the, in these areas, right? Because it's just, we're at a max. But I can go above uh, or below or in between here if I wanted to. Uh, but look, we're already getting into really complex layouts. Um, and I think that's a great feature. I really look forward to that. And again, you can uh, grab these you can grab the parent and move it around too. So if you wanted to drop that on the end, uh, you could do something like that. If you wanted to grab this row, uh, you could do that and move this at the end, or excuse me, that column at the end of that row. Um, and you also notice this little feature here, it starts to be, they realize that things are probably gonna get fairly tight in these layouts as, as you make these more complex layouts. And um, it gives this little hamburger icon now, right? So it helps you play with uh, these settings without, you know, smushing everything together for lack of a better word, especially on mobile, which leads us to the next killer feature that they have coming out. Uh, and that's in the settings itself. So that's in the column settings itself in the advanced section and, and really for any module um, that you might be editing. So you, if I click on the advanced section, you'll see, uh, you know, because sometimes we come into the margin section and we tweak the, the margin on top, bottom, left, right, that kind of thing. But now you'll see this little screen icon show up. And if I just pop over back to 1.8, click on customize, advanced, you see there's no desktop icon there. So what happens? When I click on, I'm just gonna move this out of the way. When I click on this little desktop icon, you can see we go down to a tablet view. When I click on one more time, it goes down to a phone view. And now we can make these adjustments and visually see what these enhancements look like in the mobile displays. Great stuff. Uh, I think it's going to be uh, great for anybody who's been, um, you know, trying to make adjustments in their mobile view, sort of bouncing in and out, maybe going to the WordPress preview or shrinking down their, their screen. Now you just do it here with a few clicks, apply those changes. Uh, that's super, super slick. 
Uh, so good on them for that. One of the last things that I think is really sharp, and this would probably be for anybody who's doing sort of some heavy marketing, um, maybe integrating with some third party uh, lead capturing software, uh, software as a service, some kind of SaaS platform, maybe like an opt-in monster or something like that. You can now, this is a button, I believe. So if I click on the settings, uh, in the in the click action, now we have the light box. And within the light box, we can apply HTML to be presented in the light box or video. And we can paste the video in there. And that'll apply to a light box that pops up for that video or for that embedded HTML. And again, you that embedded HTML might be like I said, opt-in monster, uh, JavaScript, anything that you can drop in there and um, display some kind of lead capture form or something else that's sort of embedded there. And that's really powerful stuff. Uh, again, not available in 1.8. If we click on button settings, you can see here that there there is no uh, link action. That does just not available from right now. You can do the target, uh, same window or new window, but you can't drop in a video uh, or some embedded HTML to come up in a light box. Pretty cool stuff uh, from Beaver Builder. You can get Beaver Builder now, of course. Uh, 1.8 is enhanced, uh, or is continuously being enhanced, working their way towards 1.9. Uh, but 1.9 is probably not looking to be released until maybe later on uh, in the year. But guess what? Time's a ticking. It's almost November, so <laughs> we won't be waiting. Uh, we won't be waiting that long. Um, Plugintut.com, youtube.com slash Plugintut. I just did an entire series on uh, the top uh, WordPress contact forms. If you're into that kind of thing, uh, you can see I've got seven of the most popular videos. This one's actually deleted. Shouldn't be there in the playlist any longer. So seven of the top uh, WordPress contact form plugins. If you're interested in learning a little bit about those and seeing what features lie under the hood of some other contact forms you're, you haven't checked out yet, Check that out. I appreciate it. As always, if you like videos like this, sub to the channel, share it, upvote it, tell your friends and family. Uh, thanks, everybody.